I say yo. Welcome to the BBW show, you feel me? We talk bad rap, basketball, and wrestling on a daily basis. Follow my Instagram at the underscore BBW show. Now, the topic today is wrestling. More importantly, the WWE draft, you feel me? Now, Friday night, we had the first um, selections of the draft. It's going to continue this Monday on Raw. Now, most of the picks, if you um, watch my channel, I already did a mock draft or like the picks I thought had to happen. So most of this is correct. You feel me? Most of this is correct. There's a few things I was eye scratching. Now, let me say this. I hated that the SmackDown Tag Team Champions did not get drafted. I'm not going to lie. I was going to ready to come on here and rant on that. That the Usos did not get drafted at all on SmackDown. I hated that. You feel me? Roman Reigns got drafted. Charlotte Flair got drafted. The Royal Tag Team Champions got drafted. Like, everybody got drafted except the Usos, it felt like. So I was ready to bitch about it. But then they did a segment at the end of SmackDown where it's like, they teased that the Usos might turn on Paul Heyman on Raw this week. So that's the reason to tune into Raw. But I do think the Usos is going back to SmackDown. So let's get into the draft that happened so far. So SmackDown got Roman Reigns, Charlotte Flair, Drew McIntyre, The New Day, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods, Baron Corbin and um, Riddick Moss, Hit Row, Naomi, and Jeff Hardy. Now, they also had some picks on Token Smack, all right? So, Tony Stone went to SmackDown. Ali and Mansoor went to SmackDown. Mace went to SmackDown. Drew Gulak and Aaliyah. That's a couple of good names. I ain't gonna hold you. That's a lot of new people, bro. Like, I didn't want Drew to go to SmackDown because I felt like it was still stuff for him to do on Raw. But he has been on Raw since he made his return to the main roster, you feel me? Charlotte, I was I would have rather moved everybody else to Raw instead of Charlotte, but now it's a whole bunch of new people for the wrestle. Tony Storm, she never wrestled. I was gonna say Bianca Belair, but they moved her. So I feel like I think like that. I like that Charlotte's is off Raw because she been on Raw for a minute. We keep it in the stack. She been on Raw for a minute, and I feel like if she's on SmackDown, we are not gonna see her wrestle every week. That's a good thing. So who else we got? Hit Row, I feel like Hit Row, they was made for the main roster, you feel me? Hit Row was made for the main roster with Swerve, Ashanti the Adonis, B-Fab, and Top Dollar. That was made for the main roster, especially with NXT and this like developmental stage. They're not, they're not there for that, you feel me? They look like stars, I ain't gonna hold you. Hit Row look like stars. I like that they keep in the Naomi, Sonya Deville storyline going, I like that. I like that they moved Jeff Hardy to SmackDown, you feel me? I feel like SmackDown needs to have, like, when there was the draft in two, early 2000s, The Undertaker was always on SmackDown. I feel like SmackDown needs a legend, you feel me? They had Edge, they had Ray, they had Benoit, Kurt Angle, Eddie, all those guys was on SmackDown. I feel like SmackDown needs a legend, you feel me? That been there forever. Now, Tony Storm, I like that. Ali and Mansoor. I kind of like that. Drew Gulak, I like that a lot, you feel me? Because that gets him away from the 24-7 stuff on Raw. But Daniel Bryan is not there. And Daniel Bryan is the only reason Drew Gulak got a push last time. So I don't like that. Now, Aaliyah, that can be good. Aaliyah could be good. She was in NXT for a long time. So that could be good. But we got Mace. They broke up Mace and T-Bar. I'm not going to lie. I could see these guys getting fired soon. Because... Yeah, Dominic Dajakovic was good, but he's not a star, you feel me? He's not a star. And Mace is not that good at wrestling, you feel me? But WWE loves big guys. Vince McMahon loves big guys. He ain't do shit with Mason T-Ball since he had him. But neither here nor there. Now let's talk about who moved to Monday Night Raw. So Raw got Edge, Bianca Belair, Big E, RK Bro, Rhea and Nikki Ash, Keith Lee, Ray and Dominic, Austin Theory, Nia Jax, Dewdrop, the whole 24-7 division with all truth Drew, um, Drake Maverick, and Tazawa. They went there. John Morrison went to Raw. T-Ball went to Raw. Alpha Academy. That was a surprise to me. They on Raw. And then Apollo Crews and Command Aziz on Raw. Now, Alpha Academy, I kind of, this was a shocker to me. I'm not going to lie. They already teased up the 
Usos versus the Alpha Academy. I feel like that was a nice tease. But I also do feel like Vince McMahon loves Otis. You feel me? Vince McMahon loves Otis. I ain't gonna hold you. Not just as a baby face, but as a heel also. I feel like he loves Otis. So I feel like um, Alpha Academy can get a shot on Raw. You feel me? It's not automatically, but they can get a shot. It's a possibility. Apollo Crews and Commander Aziz. I'm sorry. I have no... Like, they're gonna get booked like shit. I'm sorry. Especially if they keep AJ and Omos on Raw. Why do you need Commander Aziz and Apollo? AJ and Omos is better than Commander Aziz and Apollo. I'm not gonna hold you. So I don't know why they would be on the same show. Zelina Vega. Uh, you could put her with Garza and Umberto. Because she's a great promo and not a great wrestler. So I would put her with Umberto and um, Andrew Garza. Um... Keith Lee on Raw, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Keith Lee versus uh, Big E could be a big-ass match. That could be a WrestleMania match. I'm not going to lie. Keith Lee versus Randy Orton again. You feel me? Keith Lee versus Edge. That could be some shit. John Morrison. I wanted him to move to SmackDown. I ain't going to hold you. But I do feel like they're going to do that Miz and Morrison match when the Miz comes back. I feel like just forget about it. Just move Morrison to SmackDown and book him serious. But he's still on Raw. T-Ball. Like I said, Dodger is really good. But he has his best matches with Keith Lee. And they might wrestle. I ain't going to They might wrestle. And it's not going to be what we got in NXT. But they might wrestle each other on, the, on Raw. But I could definitely see T-Ball getting released in the next couple of months. That's just me. Austin Theory. That wasn't the biggest surprise to me. I was kind of expecting that. You feel me? I feel like Vince McMahon wanted him on the main roster. What was that? Last year, when they was in the pandemic, but he wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. We're not going to do that. And now that he had this time with Johnny Gargano and NXT, he's way better now. You feel me? I don't know how they would book him on Raw, but he's way better now. He's way better now than he was a year ago. You feel me? So now all we got to do is like wait for Monday. You feel me? There's still a lot of big names that haven't been touched. Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks. One of them is moving to Raw. I don't think Bailey. Sasha Banks, Charlotte, and um, Becky Lynch is all going to be on SmackDown. One of them is moving to Raw. I ain't going to hold you. Um, Sami Zayn, he's not been moved. Finn Balor hasn't been moved yet. AJ Styles hasn't been moved yet. There's a few people that they still got left on the chopping block, you feel me? But all in all, I definitely feel like SmackDown won this draft. I ain't gonna do SmackDown got more bigger names. They, they they won the first part. I say that. They won the first part of the draft. Raw definitely needs more talent. You feel me? Raw needs more wrestlers than SmackDown, but I feel like Raw has more characters. Like Dewdrop, that's a character. You feel me? The 24 7 stuff. Apollo Crews and Commander Aziz, those are characters. RK Bro, you feel me? We don't know what Bianca Belair is going to be booked like, you feel me? They couldn't have her run rough shot, or they can have her not, you feel me? It's up to you. But all in all, I think it was a successful draft. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll be back with more.